So it's a Monday. And it's a lot yeah, of but it's a Martin Luther King Monday. So is it really a Monday if it's a holiday? Well, it's still Monday, dear. <laughs> well, I, it's okay, but some Mondays are better than other Mondays, right? You could you'll give me that. Is that is that yeah, true? I will. Okay. That so, is the true. Bridge, so where's the bridge inside of you that lets you take this Monday that has the potential to be, I mean, just a stupidly fantastic day, just like every day that ends in Y has the possibility, at least, of being an, an incredibly freaking wonderful day. I mean, day ends in Y, and wonderful day ends in Y, so why don't you take out the, the, the mon, t, I can't do that in my head, I'm too language specific. I can't take out the Mondiest Monday ever. <laughs> Okay, the Monday is well. Is the day the is the day the Monday is Monday ever? You know, everyone's expecting all these things to happen. There's all this failed expectation, and so what we're going to talk about today is one of the three voices that's inside of you, and the first one is the most obvious one. It's the one that comes out of your face, and I hypothesize that it is possible, possible, not guaranteed, that if you uh, take your your day into account in the beginning of the day and do something like I don't know, play the uh, close, 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 thank you, play the I Am Superman song, which I used to play on the way to work every day. <laughs> and uh, awesome. and I, but look, I'm, I'm not Superman. I'm obviously Iron Man. So, and besides, we have a Superman. So you have three voices. Your first voice is, is heard by all of yourselves. Okay, so I... We've been trying to drive home this thing this last week or so here about this super important message that if you just are nicer to yourself, your day will be less crappy. I'm trying to keep my, my language honest here right away so I can we can put this on YouTube. So yeah, yeah. because we have a YouTube link here. So this YouTube link is going to show you how powerful your voice is if you can match frequencies, right? So what are you going to match frequencies with? Well, we're going to talk about that. If I can find my other, uh, here it is. Here's my tab. Okay. Now this girl, she, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing is she's either, she's Portuguese or Brazilian. She looks sort of Brazilian. She very much looks like a Brazilian tourist. So she is going to show you the power of matching a frequency. Now watch what she does when she's tapping the glass. She's pinging it. They call it a ping in the sonar universe. It's, it's, it's the same thing. But she has to match it to shatter the glass. So watch this. Come on. Não, calma aí. Vamos tentar mais outra vez. That, that was mom. You're not holding it right. This must be your fault. I'm guessing it's a. Uh, give me one more shot here at the next try. <laughs> so what he, what he did to do that was match the frequency, right? So what we're saying here. My hypothesis is that we have we have a a little girl here who shows us power of a young voice that she is able to change the state of matter by resonating with the frequency of the thing she wants to affect. Does that does that am I holding true here? Does that make sense? Sure does. Okay, so when we are understanding this example, we're standing under this knowledge that we have the we have the power to change form with a resonant voice. Now, an example of this little girl is, of course, a destructive event. Everyone pays attention to the flash and dash, but but I want to take this a step farther and tell you that the labels that we put on ourselves are as important as our outbound voice to ourselves. Because remember, our first voice here. That's heard by all the 32 trillion cells in your body. That's the commander-in-chief speaking. 
right? That's your intention of manifestation because your powerful voice is what makes everything in your life happen, right? That's right. Okay. So the labels we put on ourselves are also incredibly important. So we're going to see the water thing with Missouri Moto one more time here at the end of this just to drive it home. You can't see that too many times. But this is another thing that Emoto's done. Uh, uh, Masuro did. He, he took food and he put different labels on the food. And after 50 days, 50 days, oh, yeah, he put love on one with a nice little heart. And he put ignore on one with just, you know, uh, black and white. And then I hate with a nice yellow haze. Is that yellow? Or is that tan, a, a, yes. a tan? Yes. Okay. It's I'm yellow. Guessing. Guess in my post-it notes here, but I had one out of three chance to get that right. So I uh, so just anyway. So so the one that they had love on, boom. Nothing. So I, if you just put I love you on your groceries over the expiration date, <laughs> and, and it stays good forever. <laughs> okay. Well it's the amazing. one you, the one you ignore. It's just say he didn't like go tell this right. Nothing's different. It's all from the same batch. The link is here, of course. You know me. Citation, citation. I always have a citation. So, so here's what I'm saying. Do you do you love Mondays? <laughs> As if so. I love they don't, Mondays. They don't smell. They don't. There's no mold. Well, do you just ignore Mondays? Well, I just some are sort of smelly. Or do you hate Mondays? Because Mondays are very gross and they smell and there's lots of mold on Mondays. Just put in Monday. I hate Mondays. I ignore Mondays. I love Mondays. So your very powerful mouth, this little girl shows us up here, ah, she gets it done. Okay, so when we approach our life, the emotional energy we possess, sorry, uh, we, we possess on the fly and expand defines our lives and our realities. Okay, so if you hate Mondays, Mondays will suck. So here's a I want to know what here. happens after that. Then you have a bad week. Yeah, you well, you start, well, you might not have a bad week, but you're gonna climb your way to Friday. I mean, maybe. <laughs> and then you're gonna have a weekend that is filled with expectation and you're look, they want to keep us pissed off. So this is why the Monday suck. I just put in why the Monday suck into an engine. I put and gave me a, something with a near recent. Well, Anthony Washington, who studied business administration, he graduated in 2013. He's an author. Anthony, I hope your your success is great and that your books sell like freaking uh, you know Playboy at the at the high school gym. <laughs> just you know and keep their hands off of. <laughs> so. Well, here's all the reasons it sucks. Because the week is awesome. Uh, and Monday is the busiest day of the week. And it's also the furthest point from the next weekend. And even if you have a Monday off, it's like hell trying to run errands that day because it's so busy. Well, not in Martin Luther King Day. Everything's closed. So maybe that's why this Monday is the Mondayest Monday of some all Mondays. So that's why I schedule my hardest day at gym day for Monday. Well, this guy, yeah, he's an SBA. He graduated, so he does get up, and he embraces the suck. That's what they call it in the armed forces. Embrace the suck. Follow your orders. Well, I don't want to embrace the suck. I'd rather be the sucky, the sucker. No, no, well, sucky, never mind. So since Monday already sucks ass, it's possible to make it worse by working out. I might as well embrace the suck of Monday and just get all the misery-inducing activities out of the way. Well, what you just told yourself is good. Oh, wait, how many people agree with him? 3.4 million people. This guy is a mass destruction weapon of suckiness. <laughs> he just affected 3.4 million people. Okay. You want you want to take this? You want you want to read this next little section for me there? Producer your lady. Oh. If I can enlarge it, hold up. That didn't work. <clears throat> Wait. What, does you see it now? Oh, I missed. Yes. <laughs> Notice the over three million answers. This guy hit the low frequency chord hard. 
How about as an alternative, I love Mondays. People leave so much great energy laying around. Like the gold rush, huge gold, huge nuggets of golden joy. Just laying around to pick up. When people ask how you are, answer, I am fantastic on purpose. <laughs> you you said that last night like you said it before. <laughs> kind of. Oh, let's hear from Dr. Emoto regarding the effectiveness of tablet of labels and matter. Okay. This is incredibly powerful. Dr. Masuro. Pretty powerful stuff, isn't it? Amazing. What you've got amazing. So the actions of your mouth are the biggest difference in your life. And those and those around you. Your first voice is your mouthpiece. There's your bullhorn, is your bully pulpit, is your soapbox. It can also be this the 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 wound that is that is healed and, and touched by a by a word as well. Well, there's some days where someone says something nice to you and you're just like, Jamie, Christmas, I needed that. Well, why don't you start by saying something nice to yourself? If you make a mistake, say, well, I am going to do my best to not do that again. <laughs> and say it with your intentional mouth that maybe you're going to make a better a better mistake next time. Because perfection is, is fleeting. 
at best, if attained. So you are perfect. The perfect being you. You're the perfect you you can be. What do you think about that, Brandy? Yeah. Is that a realistic expectation? 107 days ago, I would have said something totally different. No. So, yes. In any case, I haven't told you lately. I appreciate you. And I, you as well. So, look, this, despite the self-admiration society here, which uh, which we are both attending members of and doctorates, I assume, uh, that... This this way that you treat yourself. How do you how do you expect others to treat you with any level of decency and respect if you don't treat yourself with decency and respect? There's a long time that I used to get really down on myself and call myself all sorts of names, but now I don't call myself a name I won't call somebody else, and I don't really call people names anymore because I quit calling myself names. I occasionally will call myself a shithead. Yes, that is true, but I usually deserve it, and then I'm done. I'm like, wow, don't do that again. That was a dumb move. Well, observation is the way you get there. 10,000 repetitions goes to a, a smooth motion, according to the numbers in the analyst. So how, have you said before you say, no, this doesn't work? Have you said to yourself 10,000 days in a row that you're fantastic? Because <laughs> if you don't believe it, nobody else is going to believe it. So let your joy overcome your sorrow. So this, uh, this too so shall pass. So what so would you say if you told yourself you had lots of energy, you would definitely manifest that, right? Uh, I, well, I know this works in my life. Absolutely positive works in my life. I know that I speak with my powerful tongue about a number of things, and it's uh, and it, it is a commitment of energy and soul. Yes, that's true. But what are you, you're committing to something if you're not committing to anything? You know, this is an entropic existence. You're the entropy of of uh, choice, decision, causality, result is a deep and, and wide path, you know, that, but yet the path to some sort of faith is always a constrained set, but according to every religion, I'm saying there's no constraints here. I, if you're, I don't care where you are, spit in your hand and make it shine. Look at yourself in the face and say, man, you're amazing. <laughs> and, if, and if you're lying to yourself, then fake it till you make it. Just give it a start. This doesn't take a million dollars. It's not a, you have to click an ad, and you can do this by yourself right now. You know, the goal of all of this statements I make is that you start with you. And I, I'm not trying to say I can come and do this for you. I can't play a minute in anybody's life. I'm a coach. So I get on the floor, the whole team doesn't know what to do or whatever. And it's hard enough to remember to listen to your coach in the game. But you're your own coach. Your first voice is coaching all the cells in your body. That is the lesson. Your first, your first voice affects everything around you. That, that little girl shattered a glass. And then we saw the labels, what a voice does to the action. So just the intention of writing it. Oh, man. Imagine if you were journaling positive things and reading those out loud to yourself as affirmations every day. What's that take? Five minutes? Yeah. Oh, I can't do it. It was too hard. Huh? Spend five minutes doing something else in the morning that's probably pretty useless. Try this. Do it while you're doing that. <laughs> so that's my point here. I want to cut this one a little short. I want to try and get another 20. We're at 1830. So give me 30 seconds of brandy wisdom on, uh, on, on why this is a good idea and how hard is it to do? You, you Your life has changed fairly drastically in the last uh, 100 and something days. So yes, what's, what, what's the best thing? Yeah. The first thing I would say is never say anything negative if you don't want it to be in your life. And if you use the word disabled, then you're referring to yourself. You get what you ask for. Well, you get, get what, what you, you speak. For. Whether or not you ask for it. You're asking you for it by speaking it. Say, saying I hate Mondays is asking for bad Mondays. Well, saying you are and a bad word behind it, like disabled, unable yeah. to walk. Well, All even I am. Things. I am is even more powerful. How are you doing today? Well, I'm okay, but I am this. I have this. I are. Right. Love it. Okay, say goodnight, Gracie. Good night, Gandalf. Good night, everyone. <laughs>
We'll be back. We're going to do voice number two here in a few minutes. 